Hey everyone. Hi. Hi. I recently watched this horror movie that nobody's talking about. It's called The Invitation, or L'Invitation in French. And I would invite you to skip this one. Yeah, the theater was jam-packed. The crowd was on fire. Yeah, who cares about this movie? Why did I watch this? I don't know. It was a waste of money, it was a waste of time, but at least I ate popcorn and that felt very good. So basically this movie is about Evie and she learns that she has an extended family who's living in England. Oi, mate! That was fucking terrible. Yeah, anyway, she's invited for a wedding and she says, yeah, okay. So she goes there and she lives in a beautiful mansion and then, well, some spooky shit shit happens. So here's the thing, the first hour and 15 minutes of this movie are unbearable. It's boring, it's cliche, there's a love story that I don't care about, and once in a while there's some pretty shitty scares. I just wanted to sleep. But here's the thing, the final act of this movie is something else. Now from what I can see with the trailers and stuff, I think the secret is out, like most people know what this film is about. But in case you don't know, don't look it up, don't watch anything, just go in blind if for some reason you watch this, because I didn't know what this was about. And yeah, when there's that reveal, man, it was straight out of a 2007 movie. Holy shit, was it terrible. It somehow became a so bad it's good. I honestly. I wish I went there not entirely sober with a group of friends because we would have laughed our asses off. It reminded me of movies such as Twilight and Leprechaun Origins. It was fucking nuts. I guess without spoiling anything, there's some silly fight scenes, uh, very bad special effects, cringy dialogue. It's completely over the top, but they take it so seriously. I I can't believe they released this movie in 2022. This, this baffles me. I don't understand. M yeah, just skip the whole movie just go to that third act and it's very very funny that being said though the first two acts jesus fucking christ pick up the pacing i guess i can give a few positives uh the acting was fine the main actress did a pretty good job and i wish we could see more of her in the future in better movies otherwise pretty damn good cinematography and set designs the movie does look beautiful and i guess there's some fun scary scenes with spooky shadows in the background that was fun but otherwise i can't believe i paid money for this and that's really all i have to say about it i genuinely don't even remember anything except for that final reveal that is utterly insane seriously straight out of an early 2000 movie man oh man the invitation no thank you i'm gonna give this movie a 4 out of 10 skip it that's about it keep watching horror movies it's good for your health bye bye